वेलकम लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन दिस इज वीडियो नंबर 242 एंड टुडे इज लेक्चर टू बेस्ड ऑन ऑप्टिमाइजेशन ऑप्टिमाइजेशन टेक्निक्स पार्ट वन इन ए सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर्स ऑन इंट्रोडक्शन टू मैनेजीरियल इकोनॉमिक्स वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स इन मैनेजीरियल इकोनॉमिक्स इज द यूज ऑफ ऑप्टिमाइजेशन टेक्निक्स as i mentioned in my earlier lecture that uh, uh, managerial economics uh, is the amalgamation of economic theory including micro and macro economics and uh, decision science including mathematical economics uh, and econometrics economics uh, uh, to help uh, uh, organization how to achieve its aims and objectives in a most efficient way so today we uh, start with the first part of optimization techniques Uh, and optimization techniques is concerned with the methods for maximizing or minimizing an objective function and here are some examples uh, consumer is uh, maximizing his or her utility by purchasing an optimal combination of goods uh, in producer theory uh, firms also maximizes its profit by producing and selling an opti optimal quantity of goods and uh, sometimes firms minimize their cost by production uh, their cost of production by using an optimal combination of inputs uh, uh, regarding profit uh, we uh, use some certain uh, uh, economic relationships and uh, the total revenue function is given by uh, pr is equal to 100 q minus uh, 10 q square and uh, here is uh, this relationship is given in uh, a schedule or a table Uh, the first row shows quantity of output produced and uh, the second row shows uh, the total revenue and the same relationship is uh, exhibited in this uh, diagram and the total revenue function is uh, uh, increasing at a decreasing rate so it's like this and uh, these three are uh, interchangeable the equation is given mathematically and uh, if you if you assume values for uh, q Uh, from 0 up to 6 then we get uh, total revenue from 0 up to 240 and if we graph this equation and this schedule then we get this graph this is the total revenue function uh, since we just discussed total revenue there are some related uh, concepts one is average uh, revenue and the other one is uh, margin revenue now total revenue is equal to the quantity of output produced multiplied by its price that is the value of output sold and uh, average revenue means total revenue divided by units of output sold that is q and margin revenue is the derivative of total revenue with respect to q so it is uh, delta tr divided by delta q and uh, this uh, table shows uh, in the first uh, column it shows uh, units of output the second column shows total revenue the third column shows average revenue and the last column shows marginal revenue uh, here is a, again in this table we show the, the schedule of total revenue of a firm so here is in this uh, column you see the units of output this is the equation or the function the total revenue function and if we assume these values in this function then this is the this column gives us a uh, total revenue in terms of dollars again this is the geometrical representation of the total revenue function uh, and that that is basically the translation of the total revenue schedule or the equation uh, geometrically so this curve is increasing at a decreasing rate it reaches minimum it reaches to its maximum at point e and then it declines uh, here is a total revenue function in the upper diagram and in the below diagram you see the average revenue and the marginal uh, revenue the this curve is a uh, average revenue and uh, this curve is a uh, marginal revenue uh, again this is the this uh, table shows total cost average cost and uh, marginal cost since profit is the difference between total revenue and total uh, cost of production we just discussed total revenue average revenue and marginal revenue uh, on the cost side we have total cost average cost and uh, marginal cost so here in the first column these are the units of output in second column these are the total cost of production 
and uh, the strength is the fixed cost then there is average cost and uh, the last column shows marginal cost the formula for average cost is total cost divided by units of output and the formula for marginal cost is delta uh, total cost or uh, change in total cost due to when will change in the output and uh, again this is the schedule of uh, the total cost marginal cost and average cost and the units of output there are four columns uh, uh, in this diagram the upper diagram shows the total cost the lower diagram this curve shows uh, marginal cost and uh, this curve shows average cost and uh, these two diagrams are basically are the geometrical representation of this uh, schedule so we can uh, if we graph this uh, schedule uh, then we get this geometrical representation of total cost marginal cost and uh, average cost again this is another uh, uh, types of uh, schedule for uh, total cost average cost marginal cost curve of the us steel industry so this is the total cost this is the average cost and this is the marginal cost now here the marginal cost curve is a horizontal and straight line it is a parallel to the x axis and this is because of the reason that the since the total cost is a, a straight line so its slope is given and that means that uh, mc is constant and it doesn't vary uh, with the level of uh, output uh, there are some geometric relationships the slope of a tangent of a total curve at a point is equal to marginal value at that point you might have read that uh, in your textbooks so it means that uh, if you take the slope of a tangent to a total curve at any particular point then that is equal to the marginal value at that particular point of output the slope of array from the origin to a point on a total curve is equal to the average value of the uh, of that point uh, a marginal value is positive zero and negative respectively it means first marginal productivity is increasing then it reaches zero and uh, later on it becomes uh, negative uh, sorry i mean uh, marginal value is uh, first positive then it's uh, zero and uh, finally it becomes negative uh, when a total cast car slopes upward is horizontal and slope downward it means when a total curve slopes upward then marginal value is positive when it is horizontal when its slope is zero then uh, marginal uh, value is zero and when it is sloping downward then the marginal value is negative a marginal value is above equal to or below an average value respectively it means uh, when average value is increasing marginal value is above it uh, when average value is maximum then uh, marginal value is equal to it and uh, when average value is decreasing then marginal revenue is less than that so when the slope of the average curve is positive zero and negative it is exactly the same thing uh, here is the profit maximization and as i told you that profit uh, is the difference between total revenue and total cost uh, in the first row when the output level is zero total cost is positive uh, and uh, there is no revenue it is zero so profit is negative and even when you we are producing one unit of output again the profit is minus 50 and then when the we produce two units of output profit is zero and then it increases and finally again it is zero uh, this table shows total average and marginal cost schedule of the u.s steel industry in the 1930s so this is the level of output units of output uh, this is the cost function and this is a straight line usually the total cost function is cubic but here uh, it is a uh, linear so total cost curve is uh, a straight line this is a uh, total cost if we solve this and these are average cost in million dollars and these are marginal cost in million dollars and as i told you earlier that marginal cost curve is a uh, constant because uh, the total cost curve is revenue and its slope is constant so uh, marginal cost uh, stay constant at uh, 56 dollars these are the various cost curves we have combined the total revenue and the total cost uh, this cost basically shows a uh, total cost function and uh, this curve shows total revenue functions this is marginal cost 
and this is margin revenue. For profit maximization, there are two conditions that uh, the MC and MR should be equal. So uh, when the level of output is three units, so both MR and uh, MC are equal. And uh, the second order condition is that the marginal cost curve should ca uh, intersect marginal cost curve from below. So both conditions are satisfied and that is the condition for uh, maximum profit. And if you see here, profit is maximum. This is total revenue is uh, at uh, units of output three output. Total revenue is at point C and total cost is at point uh, J. So this diff vertical difference between total revenue and total cost is a uh, uh, profit and here profit is maximized. In the lowest diagram here, up to two units profit is uh, negative. Uh, then it is maximum uh, shown by C double prime when the output level is three, and uh, after that profit is decreasing. And uh, after four units of output are produced, if we further increase output, then profit is negative. So profit is maximum when the uh, farm is producing three units of output and uh, here it is vertical. The vertical difference, this is profit. And here you can see this is also equal to profit. So this distance and this distance are equal. And this is because of uh, the fulfillment of the two conditions of uh, the equality between MC and MR and then the slope of uh, MC uh, should be greater than the slope of MR. There are some steps involved in optimization. Uh, first, we define an objective mathematically as a function of one or more choice variables. Then we define one or more constraints on the values of the objective function and or the choice variables. And then we determine the values of the choice variables uh, that maximize or minimize the objective function while satisfying all of the constraints. Uh, here is another uh, diagram which shows the optimal level of pollution and the MC curve shows the rising marginal cost are lost to the society from increasing levels of uh, pollution and uh, the MB shows the declining marginal benefits to the polluter and to the society by being able to freely dump increasing amounts of waste. Without controls, dumping will take place at point A. They will increase pollution up to this point. We are, uh, margin benefit is equal to zero and the optimal level of dumping is a Q naught at which the MB and MC curves intersect each other and uh, here at this point MB is equal to MC. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, uh, kindly uh, press the red button, this one and uh, do not forget to click on the bell icon so that uh, you can get timely notification about my other videos that uh, I'll uh, upload for you uh, very soon. Uh, my next video will be on the optimization techniques part two and that should be lecture number three in a series of uh, managerial economics. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, you may like to share uh, this uh, video with the, your friends, with your colleagues and you may also um, give comments in the comment section and uh, you can also like this video if you like it. Uh, I'll see you in uh, another video. Thank you.